Head Island, one of the great golf resorts uh, on the East Coast, the uh, Palmetto Dunes Ocean Front Resort, home to three designer courses, Arthur Hills, Robert Trent Jones, and George Fazio, all contained right there uh, on the property. Clark Sinclair is the director of golf for all the golf courses there, and he joins us. Uh, Clark, I was talking earlier. Uh, welcome to the show. I was talking earlier about how hot it is in Scotland. It's always hot in Hilton Head, but I think it's a little drier in Scotland right now than it, at least certainly as it was over the weekend in Hilton Head. It sure is. It, and we had we had a lot of rain this weekend. Uh, the temperatures temperatures have been good. Um, actually, compared to Pittsburgh, uh, I'm surprised people yeah. aren't running down there. It's been, I think it's been Tell us a little bit about uh, uh, about the, the resort, uh, Clark Palmetto Dunes, uh, and and three of the golf courses, three different types of golf courses. And you were right about the Arthur Hills design. Um, very cool. Uh, you know, a lot of great angles. Got to be able to golf your ball, shape some shots, and you got to know where you're hitting it. You have three different looks down there with the golf courses, but the, you're right about that Hills course. Yeah, the Hills course is, is one of my favorites. The layout is spectacular. Um, over over time, uh, it's gotten great reviews. It's a shot maker's course. Not very long. Uh, premium on 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 the landing area. If you can get your ball to the 150 markers or inside the 150, and just have an approach shot, it makes for a really really fun round. Um, greens are not large, so uh, you don't have a lot of three putts. A lot of scenery, a lot of wildlife. Uh, runs through the lagoon system. Uh, we have a 10-mile lagoon system that works its way through the property, and all the golf courses uh, touch upon that. It's just been uh, it's it's been great to have it, and we've had a lot of uh, a lot of tour players play there over the course of time during the uh, Golf World Palmetto Dunes Collegiate, and just coming in, uh, we have a lot of people come down, and uh, some will practice during the Heritage Golf Tournament, and. Uh-huh play that course and they'll also come and play the Jones course and the caddies will generally come over and play the Fazio course uh, the Jones course great layout uh, we had a redo and it's a link style course the 10th hole finishes like two and a half miles away from the, the clubhouse so you work your is way out is that how far it is? I didn't realize it was that far away no kidding it, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good ways um and it, it's different, you know, 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, great, great holes. They all, they all feature the ocean and the ocean breezes right. and the right. lagoon right. system, great greens. Uh, and all the courses are in great condition. I can't, I can't say enough about the superintendents and what they've done. Yeah, that was the thing I noticed uh, between all the golf courses, uh, uh, Clark, is, uh, is uh, the, the conditioning. And... Um, you know, uh, you talk about the number 10 and 11. 10, of course, uh, uh, plays to the beach, and then 11T plays away from the beach. Great vistas, though, uh, uh, of the ocean, and uh, some really neat holes on the back there. A little, little more generous, a lot of room to drive the ball, less of a premium on, uh, I don't, you know, accuracy than maybe the Hills course. And Fazio, you know, uh, th- through some of the villas, but some adjoining holes where, if, you know, if you have a tendency to miss the ball to the right, you're you're okay because you have you have a lot of parallel holes uh, at the Fazio course, right? The Fazio course is, is exactly what you said. It's it's good for beginners. Uh, a lot of uh, ladies, families will come out and play. Um, if you play it from the correct tees, it, it can be you know very forgiving. But if, on the other side of that, it is a par seventy. If you play it from the tips, it is is actually truly one of the hardest golf courses on Hilton Head. Uh-huh. Some people have uh, challenged their their games over there over time, just trying to get to par or break par, establish a course record, and it, the greens are 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 great. We redid them. I think we're in the fourth year of our redo. We put diamond zoysia on it, so we actually don't overseed it during the winter, so we never have that downtime or that period of time where the greens are slow there. Yeah, they were it, absolutely perfect, huh? They, they've they've been great. They they've held up over the over the time we put them in, and they actually get better and faster and softer uh, during over time. We're talking with Clark Sinclair. He's the director of golf at the uh, Palmetto Dunes Resort on Hilton Head Island. Three designer courses: Arthur Hills, Robert Trent Jones, and uh, George Fazio. 
Uh, Clark, you were mentioning um, uh, some of the, you know, I, I talked about the Jones course being a little bit more wide open. Uh, I love, uh, you know, the simple, uh, the, the last hole. I say simple, but it, it, it was more a hole that's befitting the Hills course because you have that little narrow area, a little 90-degree dog leg, and you got to position it out there in a fairway to have the angle shot into the green. And, and you have a lot of that at the Hills course, and I love 17. I knew from looking at the map what that did, but I didn't realize while I was playing it what that hole did, where you just hit it to the 150 marker, and then you cross backward almost across the canal uh, to that green. Really cool little hole there. It's good. It, it's been entertaining over the course of time, and people people come back over and over to to see it, to play it, to try their hand hand at it. It it's it's really unique, and it's 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 fun. You know, we I, I I had you in mind when I was on the tee because we had talked about the 18th hole at uh, at the Trent Jones course where you said you know a number of years ago before the trees grew up people can try to take it over the trees and drive the green. So when I'm standing on 17 at the Hills course, I'm thinking, I wonder how many people try and take it over. Because, you know, again, I didn't know what it did with the canal. I'm thinking, I wonder how many people try to take it over the trees and maybe drive the green. And then I get up there and go, eh, not, nobody's <laughs> trying to do that, I would imagine, unless they could snap a big old hook uh, around the trees and over a canal from about 370. Yeah, no, nobody does that anymore. It was gen- generally a, a hook didn't have a chance. You'd have to go over the the pine trees, which have grown up substantially since then. Uh, Clark, a lot of good uh, golf on Hilton Head Island. Uh, so many good places, and and of course your place uh, right up there. You you really can't find a bad place, and it's kind of like the same with your three courses. Doesn't matter which one you choose, you're going to like it because you said the conditioning's great and the challenge is there, no matter which one you play. Yeah. It's uh, it's good. Generally, the courses around the island are, are all all in good condition and 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 a, and a safe choice. But but the Pelmeter Dunes courses have been just just outstanding. Now, Clark, you've been there a long time. How have you seen that part of the island uh, evolve and and the uh, and the golf courses and the resort itself? I think you told me you were there. Uh, I think you've been there thirty years. I think you told me. I've been there thirty years. It's. You, you, you always think about leaving, but during the course of time, it's like being on vacation all year there. there there's so much to do, and there, there has been a lot to do, and now there's even more. Uh, we've, we've, we've encompassed our outfitters. You know, we have bikes and kayaks and canoes for right, rent. Right. And I'll, I'll keep it short, but our tennis center is one of the top in the country. And we do have a, a full marina, which, which takes, you know, boats over 100 feet. There, and, and obviously the beach is outstanding, which is a big draw. It was beach and golf. Now it's become more family oriented. Right. And and there's so much to do. We do the fireworks during the summer every Tuesday to attract more families. And there's a lot of camps, you know, tennis, golf, surf, uh, to do. So so there's more than just golf. And and as you know, the restaurants around the island are all outstanding too. It's, yeah, very it's changed so very much. Good. Yeah, it really has. And uh, what I love about the island is there is there are uh, plenty of places to go, but I just love the way, uh, I guess, with the zoning restrictions and whatnot, the way they hide all the places uh, kind of in the trees so you don't have that commercialism uh, jumping out at you and, and, and you know, uh, blaring at you. I think that's really cool um, how they've done that. Cities. Hey, Clark, I appreciate you coming on. It, it was nice to uh, see you last week and chat with you. And uh, best of luck to you. I'll catch up with you soon. Thanks for coming on the show. Uh, I appreciate it, and we'll see you soon, and congratulations to the podcast.